Can you paint a truck topper with bed liner? Yes, you can. So here's the final result. We're gonna go through the whole process, but rather than you fast forwarding through my whole video, this is what it looks like after the remodel. I should also mention that I did this out in my driveway on the ground when it was windy. So this is the result. Shut up, bird. This is the result of a really sloppy job. So if you're extremely meticulous, it will come out even better. But if you're sloppy, it still looks pretty good. All right, and there's the front view, top view. So this is a great option if you've got one that's all worn out and bumpy and you don't want to do a real paint job on it. This at least looks like you did it on purpose. Looks pretty good overall. Definitely better than the flat black backyard paint job that was on it. So now let's take a look at how we did it. So I found a smoking deal on a truck topper for the old Z71 uh, Silverado here. But the problem is the guy, it used to be red, and the guy Rattle Can painted it, did an awful job with flat black paint. So there's some red poking out, and there's runs and drips and stuff. So rather than do this right, because I really don't care that much, we're going to put some truck bed liner on it and just roll it on. And this stuff is bumpy and inconsistent looking so it'll probably look pretty good probably at least look better than flat black uh, runny uh, weirdness that we've got now so what you do is you wash it then you take this pad that came with the herculiner and you don't want to rough up the paint too much like with actual sandpaper you just use this thing all over it and just rough it up a little bit and then uh, roll it on and if you're going to use a brush you dab 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 on it and let's see how she goes. I think I'll mask some of it off so I don't paint the windows here and then we'll we'll get started. So sanding is pretty simple. You just want to make sure that there aren't any shiny parts anymore. So as long as it's scuffed up enough that that it's not shiny, then you're good. So we'll just do this for an hour and then we'll Put the bed liner on it and after you've sanded it down and wiped the dust off they say rub it down with acetone and then let the acetone evaporate for 10 minutes or more so this stuff needs to be stirred often so even if you have it in the paint tray you want to stir it regularly because the rubber is going to sink to the bottom so you have to keep churning it so that you have good chunky paint and what we're going to do is i've masked off the windows and I'm just going to paint with brush around the edges and then we're going to roll the rest of it. So this stuff, rather than paint painting, you kind of have to dab it on with the paintbrush when you're cutting around edges. So we're going to do that and then we're going to roll as close to it as we can with the roller and that should be good enough. All right, so we've got our paint tray. I've got the stick that I'm going to keep stirring this with and then just Stir it, get it, roll it. Oh, I think it's gonna be pretty. I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. Lumpy. And because we're painting black on black, I'm probably only gonna do one coat and nobody's gonna be walking on it. If you're painting black over something lighter, then you're probably gonna need multiple coats to even it out. All right, so here we go. That's the first coat. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm sure there are some spots that I missed and some spots that have more lumps than others. I think if you have um, obsessive compulsive disorder, you probably don't want to do this because you're going to try to get the bumps even, like there's more bumps here than there are here and it might drive you crazy. But I think if I do a second coat, then it's going to even it all out and it's going to look great. So I've wrapped up my roller and my brush so that they stay wet. I've shut the can. We're going to let it dry for a couple hours and then just do a sloppy second coat and see how it looks. So here's the final product in the driveway, two coats, uh, one heavy coat and then one light coat and I ran out. And uh, we'll put it on the truck, see how she looks. This is the worst way to do it. We did it in windy conditions on the ground in a driveway 
outside so it still looks pretty good so if you can do that sloppy of a job and it still looks good then if you do it right it'll look fantastic and here's a close-up look at the final result i'm really happy with it it kind of looks like we did it on purpose it looks way better than runny flat black uh, white trash rattle can job that was on it before so yes you can bedline things and it looks pretty good